This presentation will explain the steps of naming alkenes. Let's take this example in order to study the steps of naming the alkene. Step number one, we must specify the main chain of the alkene needed to be named. We have two possibilities, either the straight chain represented by this blue rectangle or the red chain which is represented by that red rectangle on the right part of the screen. Now what decides the correct chain is the length and here we can see that the blue chain is made up of five carbon members. However the red chain on the right part of the screen is made up of six carbon members and this definitely means that the red chain is the correct main chain. Step number two is numbering and here it's worth mentioning that the main chain can be numbered from right to left as shown by the blue numbers or from left to right as can shown as shown by the green numbers. In that case both numbering systems are correct since both ends of the chain have the same distance from the branch. Last step is naming, where it starts by naming the branches. Here we have two methyl branches connected to the main chain at carbons 3 and 4 respectively. This implies that the final name of this alkane is 3, 4, dimethyl hexane.